In this video, I'm going to be going over the Nickel 3-3 Cub defense. Now, Nickel 3-3 Cub has been one of the best defenses in Madden for the last history of Madden. Really, since Madden 20 was really where this defense became super, super popular. So, for the majority of the last five years, this has been really the top defense of the year. In this, in, in this Madden 24, this defense was the best defense at the beginning of the year by far. It was super effective, super simple. And what makes 3-3 Cubs so good is it's a very versatile defense. You can set up a lot of different coverages from it. You can stop the run from it. You can send some pressure from it. And also, it can give you really good personnel. It gives you nickel personnel. There's a lot of advantages to that as well. With uh, one of the patch updates in Madden 24, they basically killed this defense. They made it super hard to adjust out of it. They changed a lot of the factors. There was no longer the ability to audible from 3-3 into 3-3 Cub to get safeties at the linebacker position. And they made the blitz significantly worse uh, and less effective. Now, here we are today, and we're going to be showing you how to bring the blitz back, allow you to have really good personnel on the field, and even create some cool coverages behind it. So in the nickel 3-3 cup defense, what we're going to be doing here is we're just going to go through and sub out and sub back in the players wherever we want them. I really recommend the biggest thing here is on the corners. You really want deep zone and mid zone KO. Those are, in my opinion, the best abilities. And the corners, you can have deep out and mid zone. And then this nickel corner here, I like Charles Tillman. He gets mid zone and flat zone for uh, zero AP. Just someone that gets good KO abilities is what you're looking for right there. And then um, these two linebackers, you want Lurk Artist. Lurk Artist is the most important piece of this defense. And so we have Bo Jackson, 99 speed with Lurk Artist. we got Isaiah Simmons, 99 speed with Lurk Artist. i got Chuck Halley still, still using him. I think he's one of the better ones. And we got Ted Hendricks down here. And then at the defensive line positions, they're not going to let you put defense or uh, linebackers here. Just make sure you want fast defensive linemen. And specifically on this left-hand side, I've actually got my fastest defensive lineman, Chase Young. Now, once you've kind of subbed everybody out and then subbed them all kind of back in where you want them, one of the things that I want you to do from there is go ahead and in your packages, you can choose the safety nickelback package. What that's going to do is give you some different adjustments that are super effective for stopping corner routes. And then in your coaching adjustments, what I like to do with this defense, we're going to turn auto flip on. We're going to leave our auto alignment on default. Option defense is going to be on conservative. And then we're going to actually turn on match coverage. And this is going to allow us to do a lot of unique things with our coverage, with our defense uh, that's going to be very effective. And then really from there, a couple different variations of this defense you could run. But in general, what I've been doing is just running this out of either cover two or the cover three play uh, within the defense. So we're going to come out here in Tampa two. And for the blitz setup of this, this defense, all you have to do is you're going to blitz. You're, as you can see, here's kind of one of the big issues with the defense. So and we dropped a full 3-3 Cub defensive scheme on our Patreon page. If you guys want to get access to the full thing, we show you how to use it to stop the best formations in the game. That is going to be in our Patreon. $10 will get you access to all of that. This is just kind of a, a little bit of a walkthrough in terms of how the defense works and functions. But the full schemes are fully equipped to stop pretty much everything that you're going to see online. So as you can see here, if I globally blitz my linebackers, one of the problems is, as you can see, to this left-hand side, it only blitzes two of the linebackers. It's because this guy here is considered a defensive end. So even though it's 3-3 three, three Cub, it doesn't practically function that way. So what you need to do is you need to just simply crash your defensive line outside, QB contain, and now you're going to stand on the running back side. So as you see right here, we're going to stand on the running back side. And as you can see, we're going to get a pretty nice little five-man pressure off of that left hand side so again all i'm doing is just crashing my d-line up qb containing and then you can stand about right here and you're going to trigger this pretty nice little edge rush now another way to run this defense that is actually really unique is to shift the defense to the weak side of the formation so what i would mean by that is we're just going to shift our defensive line to the running back side we're going to crash our line out QB contain, and then we're going to basically try to get this edge pressure more so like a 6-1 style of defense. Now, one thing that I've been kind of experimenting with that you can try out on your own is standing in the opposite side gap. I'm going to crash my line to the right here, and it gives us this kind of B-gap, potential B-gap to that defensive end. That's why I like to have a really, really fast guy there. The cool part about 3-3 Cub has always been its ability to shift – and crash the defensive line. I think that's one of the most underrated pieces of the defense. 
and it can result in some really good run defenses and some really, really cool pressure concepts. Another way that you can kind of get some pressure going out of this defense here would be to shift your line to the right, and then all we're going to do is we're actually going to blitz the nickel corner. So you see we're kind of overloading here on the right-hand side, and oftentimes that nickel corner will come off of the edge. That's another way to do it. It's a little bit less effective. Really, with 3-3 Cub, you either want to be sending three or you want to be sending five, which leads me to kind of my next piece and talking about the coverage aspect of this defense. So the cool part about default alignment is when you press, you're going to get some nice animations here. And what we're going to do is you can shift your line if you want to leave it. If you want to do the first setup I showed you where we just simply crash the line out, then what I would do is crash your defensive line down. You're still going to stand about the same spot, but now you're going to take that defensive end on the right or I'm sorry, on the left, and throw him into a curl flat. You're going to outside third, the solo wide receiver side corner. You're going to middle third, the safety, and then you're going to outside third, the other guy over here on the right. And then from there, if you want to, you can blitz your user, and then you can take this linebacker on the right side, and you can man him up on anybody on the right side of the screen. Or if you wanted to, you can put him into a hard flat. That's kind of up to you. What I like to do is just simply man him up to the tight end. I think it's super effective. And this is a great little maximum coverage defense. And as you see, this defense can get some really, really cool and really nice disengages as well as some really nice pressures. Now, I will say the one thing to me with this defense that makes it a little bit less optimized is when they start blocking their running back, a lot of times they are going to pick up the pressure. But the cool part about 3-3 Cub has always been its blitz integrity as well and its ability to keep mobile quarterbacks in the pocket, which is why you're starting to see this, this defense come back into, into the fold because it's so good at keeping mobile quarterbacks in the pocket. It's also really good at shooting the run. So if you just kind of hide right here, it's really easy for you just to shoot in and um, they're a little bit slow, but really easy for you to shoot in and potentially stop the run. So, again, just shift. You could even shift it this way if you wanted to. And um, what you should see is if they run the ball, oftentimes you see how the defense just stops the run. So the cool part about that is, you know, you don't really have to worry about the run in this. Now you have a five-man blitz that's pretty good. And you also are really containing most of you with your blitzes. So you're going to be able to keep those mobile quarterbacks more in the pocket or have a better chance to do that than you would in some other formations. So if you guys want to check the rest of the nickel three, three cub defensive scheme out, make sure that you join the Patreon. I'll put a link to that down in the description below for just 10 bucks. You'll be able to get access to everything we have over there. All of our offensive and defensive eBooks link is in the description.